The starting lineup for the visiting Cleveland Cavaliers. At center, Yao Ming. At point guard, Fred Brown. At the other guard position, Pete Maravich. At small forward, Paul Pierce. At the other forward position, LeBron James. from the sidelines. Look at Cleveland's starting group. They've got LeBron James on out there with Maravich. Then there's Yao, and it's Pierce in at the small forward position. And for Cleveland, they've got Derek Harper, and it's winners in at the two. And the last game of the season, Doris, for teams that may have fallen short of their goals, hopefully they have found now something to build upon. I think you're absolutely right, Kevin. You always want to be able to find work for to build around. Understanding over the course of the season who we want to be here long term. How do we develop the talent that's already on our roster? Now here's Brown playing Brooklyn. He was nearly unstoppable. Here's Yao. And Lively pulls it down. Brown against Harper. Pass to winner. Down low. Good work defensively by Maravich. He gets it in there. And it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. Here's James. And no good that time. Wagner outside. About one minute into the first quarter. The Cavaliers pull it in. Yeah, Torrid shooting in that one. Some of it was good play calling. Some of it was just making tough shots. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. Now, here's Harper following the miss by Paul Pierce. Drills it from outside. One of those solid shooters from range you can count on. Harper keeping the defense honest. Floats it up for James. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Amazing. Even a little bit off target. LeBron knows how to finish the alley-oop. Out to the wing. Rebound by Yao. The Cavaliers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. 
outside Maravich. Shot from 12. No good. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. To the paint. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Now, how about breaking out the statue of Liberty on that dog? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Maravich, the pass to James. Misses the fadeaway jumper. A fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. The rebound by James. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Harper against Brown. There's the pass to Yao. Fade away. It's rebounded by Cleveland. This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this season. Yeah, an, an interesting history between these two. I mean, last year they were swept by this club in the regular season, but rebounded to take them down in the playoffs. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. And it's a completely new group for Cleveland. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Worthy's checked in for James. Dandridge comes in for Yao. Roy's checked in for Maravich. Young is subbed in for Brown. Now here's Worthy. An 11-point game for him in the win against Brooklyn. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Thorpe can't make it work. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Oh, Pierce. Pierce's shot is good. And Pierce always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense. Feels real comfortable when he's in attack mode around the rim. Scott, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First it's going to be on Trey Young. First team wow, ball. wow, he got whacked on that, one. shouldn't Cleveland. be much debate there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And, you know, when you look at Byron Scott and then add in the way he plays, really a pure shooting guard in every sense. And so he makes both from the line. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Young outside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul. Now look at the hottest teams in the league. These squads have knocked down everything in the last 10 games. Boy, they've been shooting hot. You love to see this kind Trey of offensive Young. execution. At the line for two. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the night. That's good from Young. And it's become clear what a leader Young is on this team. He senses when they need an infusion of confidence and always tries to provide it. Both shots good from the strike. Cleveland leading by three. One thirty three left in the first quarter. Defended by Pierce. 
Excellent D there from Pierce. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Worthy the pass, Dandridge. Cavaliers moving the ball around. Just four to shoot. A nice shot by Young. Young. Well, Cleveland shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Passes it to Thorpe. Just five on the clock. Shoots it. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. 35 seconds left to play here in the first. Young outside. Scott pulls it in. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. I mean, even he was surprised to be that old. This goes to BJ, number seven. And so the first That's quarter is in the books. Cleveland leads by five. Cleveland. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in Ten. just a moment. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Brown out there with Maravich. Then it's LeBron James. Then there's Yao. And it's Keenan in at the three slot. Covered by LeBron. Wagner on the wing. Four on the clock. Now Ming pulls it in. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Maravich, Maravich. good. And coaches have LeBron. these sayings, Doris. Among them, the ball finds energy. What does that mean? It means, Kevin, that the ball honors basketball players who play the right way. In other words, play hard, try cutting, rebounding, pursuing loose balls. If you're playing with energy, usually the rest takes care of itself. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Trey Young has been talking smack from a young age. He said, if I was doing something nice, I wanted to let them know about it. Once he got to the NBA, Trey says, I was more of a fan of the guys I was going against. Once I got out of that mindset and started being competitive, talking a little trash, that's when everything clicked. Kevin? <laughs> David, not shy at all. Thank you. Here is Harper following the score by Cleveland. Wagner from long range. That falls. High speed that time from Harper. Wagner's got the lead up to seven now for Cleveland. And so Brown will bring it up for Cleveland. Pass to Maravich. Inside. Yao's shot is off. And stolen by Yao. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harper against Brown. James covering. It's hauled in by LeBron. The Cavaliers trail by five. Taken away. Now Cleveland moving it up. Good for another basket for him. Number four today. He's four of eight. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Brown the pass to Yao. Snatched away. One-on-one -on -one fast break. 
and he can't extend the lead to double digits. From deep LeBron, the Cavaliers again can't hit. Cleveland leading by seven. Wagner left side. Pass to Lively. Over Yao. Lively, that's good. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. The Cavaliers trail by nine. LeBron outside. On the basketball. trying to get open score the basket right, nice shot after missing his first attempt that was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter but starting to show signs of life time out, time so out. timeout called here the first for cleveland <laughs> yeah they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment and that led to taking shots that made sense well i'm sure they're still enjoying that one you love going into a tough building tough place to play and shooting the lights out nothing like silencing the crowd and it's a completely new group on the floor for the cavaliers he's covered by roy falls through he's now made two of four assists like that have typified their effort today terrific ball movement Scott against Young. He kicks it to Worthy. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 157 left here in the second. Here's Dandridge. Sweet little floater. Well, Dandridge. instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Scott against Young. The shot will not fall. Excellent D there from Pierce. Young outside. Upside Pierce. Back to Young. Passes it to Andrew. Down to five on the shot clock. Roy from outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. To the inside, the kick out to Scott. Pass to Webb. Over Young. Here's Moss. Cavaliers with the rebound. Pierce has got rebound number five here tonight. Outside Roy. There's 39 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Dandridge. Shoots over Webb. Dandridge can't make it work. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Smith's got the lead up to nine now for Cleveland. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Now Young. He had 15 points last outing. Jacks up a three. Drills the three-pointer. Young's got three seven points. points in the game. He is smart at using the screen there to just create space. Young, very reliable in that pick and roll. And so it's Cleveland, Cleveland with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Cleveland leading by six. They've got Wagner. And it's winners in at the shooting guard position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. We've seen this from Bogdan over and over. This guy understands when a man is open, he's got the timing and the touch to make the pass. The Cavaliers shooting 43% for the game. 
Adorn's talking about the young Franz Wagner. He's already proven how valuable he is. Oh, Kevin, there's no doubt. For Wagner, this is a swingman who does a little bit of everything. He can shoot it. He can put it on the deck. He can make his teammates look good. A uh, scorer from all three levels. There is not a lot to pick at where Franz Wagner is concerned. Sinks that one from the post. He has five. Oh, that's all too easy for Franz Wagner. You see the angle he takes inside. The defense is in poor position. Pass to Yao. Dishes it to LeBron. Little over a minute LeBron gone here in the second half. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. LeBron James leads by contributing in so many different areas. That time, a big offensive rebound. Driving in. The pass to Lively. And a missed layup. You know, two things happen there. Excellent coverage on the shot, and then finish the possession securing the boards. Very pretty Ellie oh, Williams. And Maravich is such a great scorer. All eyes are on him, but his eyes are on his teammates. A tremendous dual threat. Now, here's Harper. He's got six. Shoots. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. And Cleveland leads by eight. Boy, that's three for four Have this half. Time. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Timeout called Cleveland. Make some noise for your Cleveland dancer. He checked in for Cleveland. Let's see some of the numbers here for Trey Young. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Brown the pass to LeBron. Now against Thorpe. Fades away. Now can't get it to go. Cleveland leading by eight. Addition now to Harper. Connects the jumper drops. Harper's got eight points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And so it's Cleveland with it, following the score by Cleveland. Harper, no good. Outside, Maravich. Here's Yao. Persistence pays Yao, off man. as they finally hit a shot. Yao's got his third basket of the night. For Cleveland, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Thorpe. And it's Keenan with the rebound. The Cavaliers trail by six. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Here's Yao over Thorpe. And Cleveland again with the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Timeout called. Timeout Cleveland. Cleveland. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. So it's both teams making substitutions here. A moment now to see the numbers for Scott. He's had an impressive second half of the season. He's putting up 13 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. You know, you look at the numbers and you think that this is great, but we know that he's capable of even bigger production. You know, the numbers look okay, but the eye test tells us unequivocally he is capable of more. That is the sign of a star right there. Here's Worthy. No good there off the double clutch. Cleveland leading by Two six. Minutes in the third. Two minutes. Steps back and fights. Worthy with the rebound. Or Cleveland, they've gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. 
And there it is for him. And hard to miss the wide open man that time. Kudos to Young for finding him. He's covered by Roy. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contents. It's on Brandon Roy. First team foul. In a moment, out of quick to take a look at the offensive approach from Cleveland. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. It's a five-point game. Feeds it to James. 119 left in the third. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Back to Scott. Cleveland moving it around. Passes to Smith. Scott against Young. Six to shoot. Scott the pass to Webb. Offensive rebound. Goes up again. Nice shot by Smith. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Young up top. Defended by Scott. Here's Dandridge. He can't hit that time. Good D by Webb. Cleveland leading by seven. Come on, back now, man. Outside, Scott from past the arc. The rebound by Worthy. For Cleveland, they've gone six of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Here's Young, and it's blocked by Scott. Here's the break. Worthy with the defensive effort. Those are chances almost always you can rely on. Oh. Brandon Roy. And just Bob show it Dandridge. off for the crowd a little bit there. Roy enjoys putting on the show. And we've reached the end of the third. He went ahead, leading by five. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. The Cavaliers trail by five. So on the floor for Cleveland. Roy is out there with Pierce. Then there's Maravich. Then there's Brown. And it's Yao in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here's Cleveland. They've led by as much as 10. Floats one. It's hauled in by the Cavaliers. Here's Roy. Brown outside. Pass to Pierce. Roy against Wagner. The kick out to Pierce. Six on the shot clock. But Trey... And Lively pulls it down. Lively's got his fifth rebound in this one. And here is Harper. Pass to Winters. Wagner with it. A pass to Winters. Just his first attempt. Rebound by Yao. 
Yao's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. 13 feet away and no good trying to use the glass. And really, for some reason, just not a big part of their offense today. Hard to get into a rhythm when you're getting so few opportunities at the rim. They get it again. Ivory. And finally, they hit one. And Cleveland leads by seven. And then buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. Now, he preached the importance of patience down the stretch. Coach said, we're not going to get it all back at once. Let's take it one trip at a time. Make it simple. Make it easy. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. And the call of foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Guys, this is just so difficult to stop Yao. His size and strength let him go right through that contact. And Cleveland making a change here. Thorpe's checked in. Got a switch here also for Cleveland. Worthy's checked in. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. You know, he's such a huge figure from a cultural standpoint. Yao is also someone teammates love playing with because of that easygoing personality. Fourth against Yao. The fadeaway. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Yao's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Over in the corner, Brown shoots over Harper. The Cavaliers with another miss. Cleveland leading by four. And Wagner drives in. He can't get that one. And so it's Pierce with it. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Worthy can't hit. And, and you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now, here's Wagner. Passes it to Winner. There's three pointers off the mark. The Cavaliers trail by four. Here's Pierce. And then Pierce with the dunk. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Thorpe following the score by Cleveland. It's good. Great move. This is what you get when Thorpe's being aggressive. He's a high percentage shooter in that painted area. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Now against Thorpe. Misses in close. Cleveland leading by four. Outside Harper. Pass to Wagner. Driving inside. Harper the pass to Thorpe. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Winners. And he's good on the three ball. Winners has got himself on the board with three there. Such a reliable threat from range. You think the defense might key on him a little bit more. And the Cavaliers call time here. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And now we present our new balance player of the game. Yeah, and he's up over 50% from the field here tonight. That speaks to how solid his shot selection has been. Nothing forced and really no bad decisions. Just good, smart, offensive basketball. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can.
Well, should any of us be surprised? Do they need a bucket? LeBron says, get me the ball, and delivers once again. Pass to Lively. Here's Winters. Down low. Lively, that's good. Lively's got four points this quarter. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. On right side. Yao in the post. Pierce feeling it out a bit. James has a two-pointer. Cleveland gets it back. And it's Yao missing. Thing burns some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Wagner outside. Here's Lively. Yao with the block. And you have to appreciate the reach of me. Superb at putting himself in a good position there to block the shot. Good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And he's someone the defense should be keying on, especially in this moment. I think he takes that kind of defense as a sign of disrespect, and he was more than happy to accept the challenge. 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's winner. And another three for Cleveland. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a Cleveland real foul. collapse to give this Bronze, game away at this Bronze. point. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers, LeBron James. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to seven. What's striking about LeBron James is how his game has morphed to now it's all about guile and smarts and experience. He continues to dominate just in a different way. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Seconds left in the fourth. He, and he commits the intentional foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for two. Brian Winter. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Thirteen feet away, and that one's good. James. Yeah, there's not a person in this building who didn't know the ball was going to LeBron. And still, he delivers. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Foul. No choice foul. but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Two. Two. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now Timeout it's an eight-point game. Timeout called Cleveland. They're trailing by eight. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? A lot to talk over and, and improve on for next time. Well, maybe it could wait until after the game because this one is over. 
20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Brown. Winners grabs the miss. And his defense, so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. And so it's Cleveland winning this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, I mean it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Yeah, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David.